Hello everyone. I'm putting out this video because I had some uh, secondary thoughts after my video about memorizing the chessboard. I do stand by the assertion that my method is probably the best for memorizing the chessboard if you want to. Um, a lot of people who watch the video seem to think that I was suggesting that my method is a better way of identifying the colors of a chessboard, and I, I want to clarify that too. Um, so it, obviously the way that you can say what color a chess square is depends on some algorithm, but the method that I suggested to, to review is that you not have to think about what color the square is, you just know it because you've um, visualized maneuvers on the chessboard enough and that it should be easy for you to tell what color a square is when a piece moves from one square to the other. And the, the color of the square is just a, a device to help you to memorize the entire board so that your visualization when you calculate variations is better. Now, that being said, I mostly want to focus on how I don't think it's necessary that you memorize the chessboard. For many people, one of the barriers to entry for chess is their perception that chess is a game that re relies heavily on memorization and that if they don't have a good memory going into it, that number one, they can't develop it, which I also disagree with, but that it's so necessary that they won't be able to enjoy the game um, because memorization is too critical to success. So I disagree with that, and I want to explain why. Let's say that you just learned how to play chess, and um, you're playing chess games on the regular, and you notice that um, you have a hard time uh, visualizing things and remembering um, aspects of the game, like the course of events. This is something that you don't need to dedicate training hours to. And I would assert that you can go through this process instead. Let's say that you've played many games, right? Um, and they're all in the same variation because you are trying to build up your understanding of one position at a time. Instead of playing random moves, you're playing the same moves over and over again to find out um, what's going to happen and try to develop a better sense of this kind of position. This is a very common way that beginner games might start, right? So. If you're having a hard time remembering positions like this, what you should do is analyze your games. You don't have to sit down and play a memorization game to remember that, for example, F7 is a light square and that you can get to it with this kind of maneuver or this kind of maneuver. Um, that's a good thing if you think that it's really important to work on your chess memory, but if you just play a lot of games and you analyze your games, you'll start to notice, hey, over time, I get a lot of games where I can put my knight on g5 and attack the weak spot on f7, and by default, just by being attentive and playing many games, you will come to learn that this is an attack on the light squares. The bishop is on a light square, c4, that lines up with a light square, f7. The knight moves from dark to light, f3, to dark, g5, and then again it attacks the light square on f7. So just by playing many games and analyzing your games, um, you're going to develop that kind of memory. You shouldn't be worried about whether or not you can memorize the chessboard um, before you start playing. Just just play. And um, the way I suggest that you analyze your games, you can see my video about that. Um, it's called something like how to get the most from your chess game analysis. And that one is aimed at a sort of intermediate to advanced audience. But even in a basic way, just um, you know, just be mindful as you play the game. Go over it, see what alternatives you could have done, and just be attentive to um, the typical placements of the pieces and what color the squares are because that will help you to remember um, at least the most important squares for your games. I think for beginner games squares like c4, g5, and f7 um, are important over and over again. So just learn them slowly. You don't have to learn it all at once. It doesn't have to be a big ordeal. Just enjoy chess. So that's my, my plug here. Um, you can work on your memorization of the chessboard and I think my method that I put in the other video, I'll put that in the, com in the description, is still good but you can also learn just by playing and being attentive. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy chess.